All right, everybody, the most requested trading video that you guys have given me is happening today. In today's video, what I wanna do is discuss how to actually calculate the proper lot size to enter a position. A lot of people think that there's a set rule to do so, but in today's video, I wanna show you exactly how to do it. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patrick Kenny. If you're new around here, we talk trading, we talk money. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, you probably should to get alerts and notifications for upcoming videos. Secondly, a lot of you guys requested this video. So click that like button to let me know that you see it. And second of all, if you didn't request it, but you enjoy it, click that like button. I'm testing something with the YouTube algorithm and I wanna see what happens if we can range up over 100 likes on this video. So let's do a goal of 100 likes for this video and let's see what happens. So with that said, I wanna today show you guys exactly how to calculate a lot size, what your position size should be for a good risk management on your account so that you can further excel your gains on your portfolio. With that said, let's hop over to the computer and talk about it. So calculating a position size for a lot of people is found in different ways. And there's a lot of misconceptions surrounding it. And in today's video, I really want to discuss exactly how to do it every single time, calculated so you know exactly what you need to be entering. So first things first, I want to give you an example of what I see all the time in this industry. And comment down below on this YouTube video, just comment the number one if you've seen this before to let me know that you've seen this. But I think a lot of people have. There's a common misconception that per, say, $100, your lot should be say one micro, 0.01, or per say $1,000, your lot should be 0.10, or per $10,000, your lot should be, you know, say a standard 1.00. This is a, a very common analogy and analysis that I see not only from traders, but from educators, and it's, it's baffling to me because this makes absolutely no sense with, with all due respect to the individuals saying it. The reason that I, that I say this is that this is a very generic and broad synopsis. It has nothing to do with your stop loss. It has everything to do with just a standard level, but every single trade is different. You know, not every single trade for most traders end up with the same pip stop loss amount. For instance, not every trade has 10 pips stop loss. One trade has 10 pips, one trade's 50, one trade's 27, one trade's 32. Every trade's different. And so in today's video, I wanna show you guys exactly how you should be calculating. By the way, this is wrong. So please, if this has ever been taught to you, erase this out of your head, especially for the sake of today's video, so that you know for a fact you're doing it correctly. So let's now go over Let's just pretend we're gonna make a trade idea up. Let's say we're gonna buy this, this is Euro dollar. I just wanna pretend we're gonna buy it. So let's just say, you know, we like what we see. We wanna buy it off this 50 EMA. We wanna target back up into these highs. And we put put our stop losses below this wick or something like that. So let's, let's draw that out first and foremost. This'll be your target. Let's say you target here. And then this is gonna be your, say stop loss level right about here. Okay, in this case, we'll turn the risk to red because you're looking to buy this. And you're, of course, if you're buying it, you want things to go up, okay? So we'll pretend all this, this is just as a scenario and, and you guys will input your own signals. But every single time that you enter a trade, the first and foremost, most important thing that you must know is your risk reward ratio. Pretend we forgot about the position size for a second. Your risk reward ratio must always be a minimum of a one to two. I'll put a little annotation on screen now. I made a full video about this. Go check it up on my channel, how we can actually lose more than we win and still make money. And it's all to do with having a minimum of a one to two risk to reward ratio. Okay, so in this case, what that means is for every one pip you're risking, you're gaining at least two pips on a reward side. So in this case, we're risking right here. This is risking four pips for a reward of 10 pips. So we know for a fact, in this case, we know for a fact that we have a one to two because four pip risk for 
times multiply that number by two, eight, that's a one to two risk reward ratio. Well, this is four pips for a 10 pip reward. So we know for a fact that we're at a one to two risk reward ratio. So now let's move forward. Once you understand that concept, you're already halfway there or even more. Now we have to discuss how do we calculate a level as far as a position size. And what we have to first do is figure out, okay, how many pips is our stop loss? So we're gonna use this example again. For those of you guys that don't know how to count pips from looking at these values on the right side of the screen, you can also do what I just did, which is pretty easy. And it's, it's grabbing your crosshairs here on MetaTrader 4. So I have my crosshair, I'm dancing it around screen. I come over to where my entry is at and I click and drag to the where I wanna put my stop loss. Now I'm gonna hold it here. I want you guys to read out loud in your own head as you're watching this video. There's three numbers at the bottom there. One says 10 on the left side, one says 40, one says 1.10683. Okay, you're gonna forget everything except for the middle number. So that middle number says 40. Okay, that middle number says 40. So that means that we have a four pip stop loss. So the trick is just block out the last number and what's left is your stop loss. So in this case, it says 40. You block out the last number, which is the zero. You're left with just a four. If you're left with just a four, that means your risk is four pips. Okay, so we'll use one short-term scalping example, then I'll switch time frames to a higher time frame and show you long-term. So this is four pips. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to this website, link in the description. This is my FX book. Okay, a lot of people use this for tracking their portfolios. We're gonna use it today for a Forex calculator position size. Again, this can be found on Google, but I'm just gonna put it in the link in the description there for you. So click that link, open it up with me now, and pretend your risk is four pips. Pretend your risk is four pips. Okay, the first things first, you must know the balance on your account. So the first thing to remember is people tend to use equity sometimes to find their risk. You wanna always know what your balance is. Don't pay any attention to your equity. What is your balance at the time of entering the position? The first thing you're gonna look at is your balance. Let's say for instance, you're trading with an account that's got $1,124 in it, okay? That's your balance, okay? The next thing that you do is put the balance under account size. So in this example, we have $1,124. So we're gonna put that into our account size. That's $1,124. Okay, the next thing you do, this says risk ratio, uh, comma, percent sign. All this means is what percent are you risking on this trade? What percent is at risk if you lose this trade? For me, in that video I alluded to earlier, it's always 2% risk. It's always 2% risk. Some of you guys might put 1% risk. Some of you guys might put 2% risk. Some of you guys might put 3, 4, 5%. I would not recommend above 5%. 5% is ridiculously risky. And so what you want to do is set that amount. 1% for if you're really conservative, 5% if you're riskier than, than all get out. Like you're, you're almost a gambler at that point. Okay, so you want to find that percentage, but the trick here is you must consistently use that same percentage. Don't do 1% on this one, but you're feeling good about the next trade and you do 4%. No, do 1% every time or do 2% every time. So for me, it's always 2%. So I'm going to put two. The next thing we do is stop loss in pips. So we know based off what we just did in that last activity, which was looking at that middle number that said 40, we got rid of the zero. We have four pips stop loss. So we know for a fact that we have a four pip stop loss and we're on Euro dollar. All we do is hit calculate. What it's gonna spit out for you is that you're risking this amount. That's what you're risking. If you were to lose 2% of this account, that's how much money you would lose. But what you guys need to know is this bottom number. That is your actual position size, okay? So going back to that, remembering back to that example that I drew at the beginning, I said to you guys, some people like to say, well, you do 0.10 per 1,000 in the account. Well, this is an example of 1,124. So if we were to be using that, we'd be using 0.10. We're risking way less than 2%, okay? So in this example, again, you're risking 2%, $22.48, and your lot size is 
five and a half minis or 0.56 would be the lot size that you would put in. You always round this last number to the downside. Okay, I don't care if this says 0.69, you don't put 0.57. You put 0.56. Okay, you always round it to the downside. Okay, so that's an example of a scalp. And again, all you're going to do is put your own values. So let's, uh, let's erase all of this really quick. And let's go up to a daily time frame. Let's say you're a swing trader now. And you want to sell right here. Okay, so if you want to sell it right here, let's say that's going to be your risk. Big risk. Okay, and you want your reward to be uh, something like down to the, the lows, something like that. Again, we're just pretending right now, just for examples. So that'll be your reward. Okay, in this example now, again, you always have to measure. So this example we've got, okay, about 107 pips. And we've got a target of about 205 pips or so. Okay, just right on the line of a one to two risk road ratio. Uh, you might want to chisel this down to make sure it's a one to two, but you get the gist. So as we zoom in here, as we zoom in here, I want to make sure that you guys are clear on how to measure. Okay, let's say you're entering at price right now, which is this big gray line going across. Let's measure our stop loss to the top of the risk. So when I do that, what does that number read? It reads 1072. So at this point in time, you have to get rid of the last number out of those four numbers. 1072, get rid of the last number, you get rid of the two, you're left with 107. That means your risk is 107 pips. So now all you have to do is move over to your risk calculator Again, account size is 1,124, risk is 2%, stop loss is 107. So now we put 107, and at this point in time, look what happens. 0 0.02, same risk dollar amount, but 0 0.02, two micros. So think back again to that original example that people like to listen to. For every $1,000 in your account, you risk 0 0.10 or something like that. I just showed you how a different trade scenario would yield a different lot size. This is an example of a swing trade, 0 0.02 you'd be risking, 0 0.02, two micros. Whereas an example of a scalp, 0 0.56 you'd be risking in that case, right? And again, all of this is for you and your protection on the account. If you do not understand these basic terminologies, these basic calculations, I can almost guarantee you with 100% certainty that you will struggle long-term trading currency, especially if you're trying to do this for a supplementary income, full-time income, or even for a living. Okay, so with that being said, that is exactly how you calculate a position size in the foreign exchange market. All right, everybody, that wraps it up. I hope that today's video is informative. I hope that this helped you, and I hope that you know exactly what your lot size should now be. So with that said, again, as a reminder, just simply hit that subscribe button. It means so much to me. And also click that like button if you enjoyed today's video. We have a goal of 100 likes on this one. With that said, in the comment section, feel free to type out anything you like as far as questions or as far as video ideas you want me to discuss. I will see you guys very, very, very soon. Peace.